Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's webinar. Before we get in, uh, just a quick introduction. My name is Matt Crowley, and I am the product manager for Total Workstation here. Um, and I'm going to be walking us through this. We're going to be talking about industrial location spot point, or more specifically, ILS 2.0, which is the newest product offering we have in the world of spot point. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and kick us into the, the first slide here. So the first thing we really want to look at before we start talking specifically about ILS 2.0 is, is why are we here? Why do we have this product? And, and what are some of the challenges our customers face in manufacturing today? The big challenges that our, our customers face throughout manufacturing today are very much the same. Um, they have an increased product mix, which requires a more flexible production. And that means that their systems are becoming more complex as well. And what that means is that the interactions with those systems is also more critical than it ever has been before because those systems are becoming more complex. And then the third big challenge we have here is just the sustainability and the need of manufacturing um, designs to be more energy efficient. So this is something that's becoming more common uh, among many of our customers as, as a shared challenge. So these are some of the challenges we hope to be able to address with ILS 2.0. So to address these challenges, Atlas Copco has created value with increased uptime, a reduction in defects, new product introduction, improved productivity, and a reduction in energy usage. So with ILS 2.0 specifically, we can increase quality by reducing defects and rework costs, making sure things are done right the first time for our customers to make sure they don't have to come back and rework and fix any errors up front. We've also enabled some easy integration and rebalancing for an increased uptime. So with the ILS 2.0 system, it's gonna be very easy as a wireless system to integrate into a customer's line, as it doesn't require a lot of cables and additional hardware and materials to install. And then we're also keeping the flexibility of our battery tools here with this product to support uh, our customers as they introduce these new products. Because ILS 2.0 is a wireless system and it works with battery tools that are wireless, it's gonna be able to more easily support our customers as they work to integrate these other newer technologies that we're offering from Atlas Copco. So what is industrial location spot point? Spot point is our first wireless bolt level location system and it uses vision technology where the cameras are tracking the position of the tool. So this is essentially how this product works. What it does is ILS tracks the position of the tool and it checks if the tool is in the right position or not. And it sends the needed information to the controller, enabling or disabling the tool to ensure it can only work in the right position and within the right parameters that we would program in advance. So ILS 2.0 has two main parts to make it function. The first is the sensor. So this is an all-in-one solution where the cameras and computing power are in the same box, making it very easy to install and rebalance. Since there aren't any mechanical parts, it makes it very robust with low maintenance, ensuring it's always ready to perform. And then the second key part in the ILS 2.0 setup are the passive tags. So these are reflective patterns that sense trackers, and they're needed to be able to recognize the tool or the part position. So the advantage of using passive tags is that they're very easy to integrate on the tool, ensuring we can keep the best ergonomics for the operator. The passive tags also provide improved accuracy being able to reach up to 10 millimeters of accuracy center to center in the ideal scenario. So here we can see an example of how ILS works together with the basic operator guidance. So when the tool is in the right position, it remains locked and the UI can be seen in the exact position of the tool with the crosshair, while the blue dot is the actual target the operator should be working in. And when the operator moves to that blue dot, thus in the right position, the crosshair also turns blue meaning the tool is enabled and the operator can perform the tightening, being sure it's in the right position and within the right parameters. ILS 2.0 is also simple to install since it doesn't need any IT or mechanical infrastructure. And this makes it a lot easier to rebalance or replace in case of failure as well. All that's needed is to place the sensor in the right position. And in case the processes were already implemented, just load the system back up and we're ready to go. Now, in regards to compatibility, ILS is compatible with most of the Atlas Copco controllers, including the new IXB platform. And due to the passive targets and its easy integration, it can be compatible with almost any tool. The ILS sensor is capable of tracking up to six different tools. 
Each tool can be used in a different way and with different configurations, but ILS is very easy to configure and set different tip offsets to ensure we track the exact position of the end of the socket. In the case the application requires different tool positions, we have different configurations for each tool, ensuring we can cover multiple tool orientations. All solutions represent a small footprint of the tool and are drop tested and very easy to install and replace. Another big question might be, can we use ILS 2.0 on a moving line? And thankfully the answer is yes, of course we can. A big benefit of the passive tags is that we can add the tag almost anywhere since they are so small and easy to integrate. With the introduction of the dynamic targets, we can now use ILS 2.0 on moving lines. This enables the possibility to track where a part is, and we can reference that part for the new positions. And again, these dynamic tags are simple and easy to integrate as they don't require any power and they have a very small footprint. We can work in a continuous moving line with both a dynamic target and the tool always seen by the sensor. So to summarize, we've seen how ILS 2.0 can increase our quality by reducing defects and rework costs. It can increase the uptime because it's easy to integrate and it's easy to rebalance. And it's always keeping the flexibility of our battery tools to support the introduction of new products to our customers. So with that, that concludes today's webinar overview of ILS 2.0, and thank you for attending.